I am Smriti Rekha Medhi, working as a Cultural Studies Associate in Vivekananda Kendra Institute of Culture, that is VKIC Guwahati. I welcome you all to today's episode of the podcast by VKIC Guwahati and today we will be conducting the podcast on Aka community of the Northeast. We are having with us Ms. Anuja Chankakoti, who is working as a Cultural Studies Associate in VKIC Guwahati. Welcome you, Anuja. Thank you, Smriti. So let me tell you about a bit of the Aka community. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it resides in the West Kamen district of Arunachal Pradesh in Northeast India. And it is and it is concentrated in three locations. Okay. Uh, Trizino, Jamiri and Bhalupo. Mm-hmm. They actually call themselves Russo, which is pronounced in their own dialect. The word, uh, the name Aka has been given by the Ahuns actually, which is okay. which means painted. Oh. Yes. Okay, so uh, is there any meaning behind their name? Yes, actually, the word Aka, as as I have told you before, it means painted. Mm-hmm. And because of their skills in bamboo crafts and the design they used to make on it, and also especially the women, they used to mark tattoos, which was made using the inks by, with medicinal plants. Okay. So, uh, so they used to mark their face. And used to paint their cheeks during their social gatherings like marriages. So that is why the name falls upon as Aka. Okay, that's very nice to know. So, uh, as you were talking about the marriage, so can you please tell our viewers a few words about their marriage ceremony, how it is conducted and you know, how it's done? Uh, yes, actually before fixing a marriage, they actually have a, a person named Mukho, who is also known as the middleman. Okay. And he is like the he is the negotiator between mm-hmm. like between the bride and the group, mm-hmm. and he uh, negotiates everything within a stipulated time. And once the marriage is fixed, the marriage ceremony takes place by worshiping the ship god, which is known as Korsomo. In that ritual, what they do is that they make a thread out of the sheep uh, sheep thread, and they put beads in it. And if once that uh, and once the beads are put in it, mm-hmm. the husband and the wife, both of them wear it for a long and a prosperous life. So that is the symbolic behind the marriage. That's quite unique and quite interesting to know. Yeah. Okay, so as we are talking about the ceremony, so uh, can you please tell us about the festival they follow? Actually, they have three kinds of festival. Mm-hmm. One is Opesau, Neshtadeo and Hupukriyo. Okay. Opesau is like uh, inauguration of new grains once the harvest is done mm-hmm. and Nestrido and Hupukriyo are they are like community festivals okay. and both of them are comes in a sequence first the Hupukriyo, Hupukriyo is celebrated mm-hmm. in the beginning of the year they used to pray to rivers and mountains then in that continuity the Nestrido community festival is celebrated too Okay, so uh, I want to know this in that do they have any particular deity of them? Yes, actually you see there is a deity known as Nizi No. Nizi means earth and No means sky. Actually they have to be precise actually. They have a term called Muthu. Mm-hmm. That term is defined as a deity elements which are unseen but present in heaven and earth. It is described as that and another interesting fact is that they believe that the Akka community is descendant from two powerful couples that was created by the Supreme God. One is known as Busulu Ao and the second one is known as Nexiani. Both of them are the powerful couples. Okay. That is the name. So uh, they worship basically the nature. Yes, they worship basically the nature. Okay. The rivers, the mountains, fire, all the elements that mm-hmm. is present on this earth. So Anuja, as we have come to the end of our podcast, I would like to ask you, how would you like to conclude uh, our discussion on uh, this Aka community? Uh, what I would like to present from my viewpoint is that the Aka community is very rich in customs, traditions and rituals. And if we study and practice these customs, traditions and rituals, we can find solutions to the challenges that is faced by the modern day world since development is not devoid of culture but development through culture okay thank you anuja for joining with us thank you viewers coming to the end of the podcast so thank you so much for joining with us and i would like to 
uh, request you all to comment, like and share and please subscribe to our channel VKIC Kohati.